So today we're doing kind of a quick walk through here. Um, I think I'm going to walk to the beach tonight <clears throat> and film the sun sunset, I hope. Um, so we're not going to go down in the ravine. We're just going to kind of walk around the path and stuff. And there's a bunch of noise in here too. Every time I come in here, it looks like they've more trees are being removed and things like that, so I'm not sure. The other day I did walk up the hill and I did walk and saw that that building was a police station. And, uh, you know, of course it had no trespassing signs all over the place. So I didn't go near it, but I saw it. It's really a nice police station, actually. So I'm gonna come out here and see there's houses and stuff. I want to see what comes out on this end. I'm going to put my sunglasses back up. Oops, hang on. I was just going to walk them to the beach, but I decided not to because I just don't trust people with their dogs off the leash. It's too bad, too, because these guys love the ocean. Oh yeah, I remember the name of that website about the mushrooms. Um, it's called Mushroom <laughs> Mushroom Wonderland. <laughs> well, look at all those ferns. Come on, guys. I don't know. I'm gonna try to find out when the the busiest time at the beach is for tourists. And I'm going to try not to go to during those times. Okay, this kind of winds around this way, huh? Oh, I don't know, maybe. Oh, yeah, it does come out here. Oh. So this is a dead end, huh? Well... All right, then we'll just walk through the woods or the forest. Let's go up here. Come on, guys. We're going to walk along the whole, this whole old growth dead tree. If I don't trip on any roots. The dogs love walking along these. They're pretty cool. Okay, Freya, you can go. Nope, this way. Holy crap, man, this is a... This used to be a big, tall tree. Wow. Goes all the way down here. Jeez. Well, I'm sure not going by that wasp nest today. Well, it goes all the way. 
down here. So this tree, and yep, there's more trees growing out of it. Wow, this was another big one. So from way over there past that second little tree, almost to the big tree on the left that's alive, not that stump, this tree started Douglas firs, I, I love. I just love them. Okay. Yeah, we didn't we haven't gone back here because of all the houses. Over here is pretty. And I th I think all the time I was hearing those frogs and there was no water. I think those are tree frogs. And I would really get a kick out of seeing one. There's a lot of trees with the blue on them, so they're going to be taking them down. Just feels like they're going to build something here. And that's going to suck, to be honest. Let's go this way. Hope you're going to have a fun weekend. I uh, got two of my, three of my five plants delivered. One was a piggyback plant. The other one is a ever it's an evergreen huckleberry, I think it's called. Just got that one today. <clears throat> a lot of dead leaves on it. Unfortunately, or dried up leaves cuz the dirt was bone dry. The other one, oh, I see they're shooting at the shooting gallery. Nice. My dog's well, so far his tail's not between his legs. He's used to the shooting. He knows the difference between the shooting and the fireworks, which is good, I think. Um, I forgot to take my sunglasses off. One's a he evergreen huckleberry that I got today, and then the other one, piggyback plant, and then um, one of my favorites is the, what the heck fern is it called? Oh, maiden hair. No, it's not a maiden hair fern. But it's a really, really delicate fern. No, I can't get my glasses, sunglasses back in the thing. Jesus. Hang on, guys. Okay, there we go. So, I don't think it was a maiden hair fern. Well, they're all growing in. Actually, the huckleberries outside, the deer fern that I got from here is outside. Then I'm getting one called a foam leaf, or <clears throat> either it's a foam leaf or a foam flower. So two of them, two more plants I should be getting by the twentieth, or by the end of the month. And what was the other one? Over, let's go over here. We're not going down su super far down today. Come on, guys. Oh, I don't know if that's raccoon poop or, but it's definitely wild animal poop. I know what wild animal poop looks like from uh, raising my own wild animals at one time. Yeah, somebody's putting all this stuff here. I 
I had to finally take my big bird feeders down because the blackbirds, the red winged blackbirds and the blackbirds, they were coming up and I'm telling you, they were eating. I would fill my feeders up and they were eating so much that uh, I'd have to fill my feeders up two days later and they're big feeders and I'm not gonna waste all the seed on those things and I had when I got up this morning there was like 50 of them on my balcony <clears throat> and they were <laughs> all my feeders were empty except the one big one bigger one and I actually brought it inside and I brought my pan of corn inside and I've been researching how to get rid of these things and if, if you take the feeders away for a couple weeks they'll go find food somewhere else but what I'm gonna do is there's feeders that you can buy that the blackbirds the big birds can't perch on because they'll they'll go out from under them and they're anti blackbird feeders anti squirrel feeders and and then I can get feeders and there's a seed that I can buy the songbirds and the finches and stuff like it but the blackbirds don't but I have 140 pounds of wild bird seed and I'm not going to buy that. I have a bunch of, still have about 30 pounds of sunflower seeds and a big pile of corn. So maybe I'll just put the corn out in the, you know, wilderness and let's let the wild animals have it. Because I really wanted that raven to come up on my patio. But all the blackbirds, nasty blackbirds are coming up there. <clears throat> so I left the little tube feeders up because supposedly the blackbirds can't perch on those because their perch is too small um, for them to, to perch on. So for now anyway... And then I put my hummingbird feeder back out because I saw a hummingbird. They were they didn't come to the feeders when the flowers were blooming in the spring, you know, obviously. So, uh, where do you think you're going, Odin? We're not going. No, we're not leaving. He wants to go because he heard those gunshots and he... He hears people now and he's all paranoid. I think he's a schizophrenic dog. Paranoid schizophrenic. And so, um, come on, you gonna peek around the tree? He's, uh, he's just, the fireworks just totally broke him. So I've been trying to do as much stuff at home to help him get over that but I think I seriously think he hears things and he's he's very paranoid come on Odin He always acts like there's something that's gonna get him. He didn't, he wasn't like that at all until we moved here. I know the wildlife scares him pretty bad. So, but we've been here almost a year and you think he would get used to it. He's even afraid to walk around at night. And we walk around at night all the time at, around the complex. Hey Odin, we can stop.
None of that stuff bothers her at all, but she does react when he reacts. And it scares her because she doesn't know what's going on. So I'm trying to expose him to as much stuff as possible, but man, I don't know. The sound of the motorcycle scares him to death. If one uh, backfires, oh my gosh. That's why I have like heavy duty leashes and stuff on them. And I have several of the same harnesses and several of the same leashes. <clears throat> Every year I get new ones because just in case, you know, they wear out. But these are like the best leashes I've ever had. And they have like bungee cords in the end of them. When, <laughs> when I first got these, when I first got her and I got these leashes, <laughs> Odin would pull on the bungee cord and she would pull the opposite way. And since she's only seven pounds, he, <laughs> he would stop pulling and let loose, and she he would go flying, like like doing a bungee thing. <laughs> so now they now they know, you know, not to do that. Yeah, he wants to get out of here, so we're gonna. Get out of here, I guess. And then when I go to the beach tonight, I'll just uh, put them in their crate. And I let them listen to music. And uh, from Alexa, I tell her to play the dog music. Come on. Or actually, my Alexa guy is an Aussie voice, Aussie male voice. I love listening to Aussies talk. I love them. And Kiwis. There's three accents that are my favorites of all time. That's a southern accent. That's the New Zealand accent. And then that's the Australia accent. They're just the best accents in the world. Oh, here comes people. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here comes a big furry dog. Come on. Come up here. Come on. There we go. Come on. Hi. Hello, how are you? Fine. Good. It's a beautiful dog. It's a beautiful dog. My little dog is the queen of ass. She wants to kill every dog that exists. <laughs> yeah. Well, I love my ass asshole dog. <laughs> Have a nice day. You too. Come on, Freya. That dog's not going to hurt you. Come on. <laughs> See, that's how Freya acts around other dogs. She goes nuts. And she she can be an asshole big time. So around dogs. We got it under control, don't we? 
You just move out of the way. Come on. Come on, let's go this way. They're gone. They're gone. Yeah, Odin's going to go down now and sniff every footstep that dog uh, went on. Okay, we got to go down some big thing here. Yeah. And she'll probably mark too. She marks like crazy. Can we slow down, please? So I can put my sunglasses on. Oh, I heard the raven. Man, my sunglasses got caught. There we go. Nope, we're going this way. I'll walk up to show you how far the beach is from my, from from here. This is like two blocks from my apartment, maybe at the most. Um, and then we'll go up the hill, and you'll get to see all the hills, that up and down hills that go to the beach, which are good for my weight loss. These shorts here, um, the one shorts. I finally got a belt. What? No, we're going this way. These shorts are a size smaller, two sizes smaller than the other ones. And I'm going to have to put a belt on them because they're going to get ready to fall down too. Oh, here comes one of the... Let's see here. Come on. We're just gonna go up here. Am I still recording? I guess I am. Over here, come on. Come on over here. There's a car coming, you doofus, doofus. Odin, you behave. Come on over here. Hello. Come on. This is more residential stuff. Come on. Come on. You can see the beach from here. And, uh, come on. You know what, it's right there. I think I'm gonna take him to the beach. I'll take some more video when I get there. See ya.